What's up, YouTube? Uh, coming up 2018, I got a lot of exciting news. I walked away from the scene for a very long time, maybe a year, went into retirement, gave up on the YouTube. Uh, there's the kitty. She was eating on my uh, banana and my palm. This basement's a wreck, if you can see it. Got all my paint stuff down here. I got to get ready for the redneck lighting to get all my germination for the seeds going. But anyway, back 2018, uh, me and Dave were talking, and he's probably the only person to get me come out of retirement. It's growing at home in West Virginia. If you don't know, I'll put a link down there. Uh, go check him out. Awesome dude. Uh, I knew him way back. I hate to even have a YouTube channel. We were talking, and we shared ideas and went over stuff, traded seeds, and He's a cool dude. Got a great channel. He does a ton of stuff. He actually has some challenges coming up. That's why he asked me to come out of retirement. So I decided to come out of retirement for 2018. Uh, so I have a couple videos. Uh, I took the Dix Bugla last year, crossed it with the Reaper. Um, and it's not a BTR. It's none of that. It's the way I did. It's totally different than how they bred their peppers. Uh, so it's You'll see videos coming up this year for it. Uh, Dave did a video as well, so I'll link his channel, like I said, and go from there. But um, I started those seeds. They were down here in the basement under here with my plumeria, but it was too cold, so they didn't really take off. So I'll show you a clip of making coffee ground water compost tea, if you like call it. Let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. Depends, however, you know, whatever. And... Um, I'll show you another clip of the peppers and the lighting that I use as well. So I'm um, looking forward to 2018, uh, moving to a new house. We're moving to Eureka by Six Flags, St. Louis. Uh, we can actually see that park from the new house. So new garden set up. I'm leaving my raspberries, blackberries, grapes. I might take a graph and graft it so I can take it with me. But a lot of deer out there, a ton of deer, a ton of turkey. So it might get eaten up. So 2018, coming out of retirement, going to do a bunch of challenges for Dave. Dave's going to do a bunch for me. So I'm going to light him up, and he's probably going to light me up with his uh, crimson chip. So uh, looking forward to that. But anyway, 2018, take a look at these clips coming up, and uh, we'll see you guys later. This year, uh, we're getting a pretty harsh winter down here, negative 4 degrees. We're supposed to get an ice storm tomorrow. The ground is negative 5 here in St. Louis, but the uh, actual temperature will be uh, 40 degrees, uh, but the ice is still going to stick. So, uh, just because the ground's negative 4, negative 5. Anyway, um, like I said, look for 2018 videos. Uh, I'll probably do one a month, uh, two a month maybe. I don't want to oversaturate it because you know how many gardening people are on youtube it's that's why i walked away i was so saturated with people just trying to be the next ted barris be the next chili reviewer and it, it got old and everybody became a lot of snobs i know a lot of snobby youtube people um that only deal with high level youtube people which is stupid i like the middle guys low guys so uh, that's how i stand um that's why i walked away initially because all the snobby YouTube people. Uh, not because I was trying to get a hold of them, but they act like you gotta remember where you came from. You know, remember your roots. And that's what I'm big on. If you can't remember your roots, then you're a snob in my point. Go back to where you came from and be humble, but be experienced and be smart. Uh, don't push all your gardening types onto people and say that's the only way you can garden because it's not what I do here is I tell you what I do and it may work for you may not I mean you don't live in my area you may live in my area it might work might not I say try it if it works it works it doesn't it sucks <laughs> you know I, I don't know what to tell you on that part but um but yeah I never try to push any of my gardening views on anyone uh I'll tell you about my views and how I do it if it works for you beautiful um but yeah i'll bring a lot of how-tos i get back into the bananas the pineapple since i'll have a bigger house and get back into my tropicals plant my uh palm tree that a uh, green 6400 gave to me it's looking good plant that up get it going and um look for an awesome year in gardening world so stay tuned here's the videos uh one of i'll do the the pepper first, the lighting, 
in a coffee ground or whatever. You'll just watch and watch it. There you go. I don't edit my videos. If I fuck up, guess what? It's getting uploaded. My fails, I put them on. Uh, I don't only put my success because not all the time is it successful. Last year wasn't a success. It sucked. The year was horrible. Uh, so the tree, the oak tree in my backyard blocked out literally all of my one gardening bed. And I have two 18 by 4 foots. If you watch my videos, you see if you're a subscriber. An 8 by 4 foot and an 8 by 4 foot. So uh, it blocked out one of my beds and it was my pepper bed. It was my good garden bed. And unfortunately, shit happened. So I had to move over half my peppers, 20 peppers mid-year so they didn't get much off them but anyway that's my failures and there you go take a look at the video look forward to 2018 uh i know someone's gonna say give me a house tour i want to see what your house looks like maybe maybe uh we'll see but look forward to that i will put a video up of i'm building another garden bed 18 foot by 18 foot and it's gonna be an l in the back corner of my house so uh Look forward to that. I'll tell you how I do it. You don't have to do it that way. You can. Whatever. So, let's have fun in 2018. Dave, I'm looking forward to messing with you this year on those challenges. And uh, please believe you'll get some stuff back. Talk to you later. Here's the video. See ya. Making compost tea with an old protein spinner. And it works pretty good. So here's the setup that I'm going to use to germinate most of my seeds, just starters. Uh, give them my buddy Neil a few. I do the tin foil to keep the light out of the wife's eyes. Uh, she has sensitive eyes, so here's the light. It is that right there, and it works pretty good. Uh, take a look. There's the Devil's Fire. It is an F1. And there's that. I just hit them with the coffee ground compost tea. And we'll see in a week or two what, what happens. Like I said, I hit them in the basement. They're cold. And uh, yeah, hit them with that. Uh, try to pull as much nitrogen. It has low nitrogen after you brew coffee. There's not much in it. So I'm going to try to extract a little bit I can out into the water. Just give it like a little hit because I don't want to hit it heavily, just very lightly. And that's why I use the coffee grounds on my seedlings. Um, so I'm not hitting it with a heavy fertilizer, worm fertilizer, or whatnot. So there you go. That's the update. And that is the lighting that I use uh, besides downstairs where I have the really good bulbs. Uh, this is just to start them uh, if I give them away typically. So, And that is a dwarf magnolia tree germinating in here. Uh, so yeah, just two of them. I have a third one downstairs with my plumeria. I actually need to put this back downstairs, but it's so cold. So that's the video. See ya.